they just record by hitting that button. Mm -hmm. It's pretty pretty simple. Um, all right, Lloyd, why do you think Barack Obama is trying to close the Small Business Administration? Why do I think Barack Obama is trying to close the Small Business Administration? Well, I think that every U.S. president is pressured to close the SBA by the defense and aerospace industry. Uh, federal law requires a minimum of 23% of all government contracts should go to small businesses. Um, the real federal acquisition budget is over a trillion dollars. They say it's like 500 baloney. It's over a trillion. And um, using that number, small businesses should be getting around 230 billion a year. If you use the 500 that they use, that's still what, like a hundred and uh, you know something billion. And the big defense contractors want that money. You know, when you're talking a hundred billion dollars a year, that's that's you know considerable amount of money. They want that money. So how can they get it? Close the SBA. When they uh, they close the SBA and wind down those programs, um, where there's no longer the program where the small businesses get 23 percent off. I mentioned that or not, but you know federal law mandates that 23 percent of all government contracts should go to small businesses. When you wind down the SBA, now that money goes to large corporations. So it's about greed. Um, the big corporations spend. I guess more than anybody else in America lobbying Congress. It's fairly common knowledge that the big corporations pretty much own that town. I remember, um, I think I was uh, looking at the, um, I think it was the Declaration of Independence and, and the um, Constitution. And I turned around and I walked out of this room and I saw a big sign that said Boeing Theater. I've been in about 150, 200 congressional offices. And when you're sitting in a congressman or senator's office waiting to talk to them, <clears throat> you know, they've got like a living room. And there's different magazines uh, that are sort of like the magazines of government. I think The Hill is one of them, and there's some other ones. And you pick them up, and it's full-page ads for defense contractors. You know, Lockheed, Boeing, Northrop, Raytheon, right? So the big, the big defense contractors are the major contributors, and they get what they want. And they, they want that money. They want that money. They've been trying since Ronald Reagan to close the SBA to get that money. So it's about greed. It's unfortunate because... Um, you know, if you just look at the facts, I like the facts. The U.S. Census Bureau says small businesses create over 90% of the net new jobs. They employ half the private sector workforce. They're responsible for half the gross domestic product. And over 90% of U.S. exporters are small businesses. Those are facts. If you don't like that, it's, it's irrefutable. Those are facts. You know, like the sun's going to come up tomorrow. And it makes no sense to close the only agency in Washington to help the 28 million small businesses where most Americans work, where, you know, over 90% of the jobs are created and half the gross domestic it, uh, product is, is created. It's, it's economic suicide, right? I think the second reason he wants to close is to cover up the rampant fraud and abuse that's gone on during his administration. Um, I remember the New York Times story that ran, what was that, about three or four months ago? The New York Times story found a Russian-owned international arms dealer called Roseborn Exports had received up to, I think it was 900 and with a $960 million in federal small business contracts. So think if you're a congressman in 1953 under the Eisenhower administration, you pass the Small Business Act. Uh, what's the antithesis of a, of a small business? How about a Russian-owned international arms dealer, you know? I think that's probably just the opposite, right? And, of course, there's been, I don't know, hundreds of stories in newspapers, magazines, on the Internet, on television, they show that companies like Lockheed, Boeing, Norfolk, Raytheon, you know, the biggest defense contractors in the country are getting federal small business contracts. It's gone on for over a decade. They try to say it's miscoding. Yeah. Yeah. Fortune 500 firms have gotten, you know, hundreds of billions of dollars in contracts accidentally for a decade, and they've never been able to stop it at baloney. The thing that really showed me what a crook Obama was was when on the government's uh, CCR, Central Contractor Registration Database, there was this one field called parent company done in Bradstreet number. And that's, the, that's how federal investigators, uh, that information was used by federal investigators and journalists and people like me to see, you know, who really owns this company? Is this really a small business or is this a subsidiary of, you know, Boeing or something like that? And when the Obama administration removed that, I knew he was a crook. And, he was, and, and he's trying to make it easier for people to commit contracting fraud. There's no reason to remove that piece of information. Most people don't know this, but over the last decade, they've removed every piece of information you could use to see if a company is small or large. It used to be number of employees, annual revenue, parent company done in Bradstreet number, um, capabilities narrative, 
primary NICC code, that's all gone. So today, if you look at a field of the CCR, you know, you can't tell anything about a company. They've done that on purpose to make it easier for, for people to commit fraud, misrepresent themselves, and divert that small business money to large corporations. And I think Obama wants to close it to cover up the fraud and abuse. Uh, if he doesn't cover it up, at some point in time, I think they realize that, that, that some journalist is finally going to do their job and do a story about um, the rampant fraud and abuse that the Obama administration's SBA is going to be very, very embarrassing for him. And um, so the combination between covering up the fraud and uh, bending to the will of the corporate giants that, that fund his campaign and, um, you know, the people on his jobs council, all Fortune 500 firms, right? And uh, think how comical that is when small businesses create between 90 and 100% of net new jobs and everyone on his job council is a Fortune 500 firm, right? So those people are pressuring him, you know, to close the SBA. But uh, if he it does, it'll be economic suicide. And I think it'll cause damage to this country that um, we'll never recover from. And there's one thing I want people to notice. Who's complaining about this other than the American Small Business League? No one. Why isn't the U.S. Chamber complaining? They say that they represent small businesses. The, the National Federation of Independent Business said they're the voice of small business. Try to find any, any mention on their website or anywhere that they're opposed to this, right? The National Small Business Association the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, the Women's Chamber. So who's making all the noise? Lloyd Chapman and the American Small Business League. That's because we're the only legitimate small business group in the country that I'm aware of that uh, really works for small businesses and is not funded by Fortune 500 firms. So if people are smart, they'll oppose Obama's attempt to close the SBA, the only federal agency to help the 28 million small businesses where most Americans work and all the jobs are created. Thank you.